In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful DIY A-frame desk. I built this because I wanted a narrower desk, something that wasn't too deep, and it's perfect for my laptop or even a personal computer. I used 3 quarter inch plywood, ripped down to 16 inches, then I cut it to size for my desktop at 60 inches. Using my Craig rip cut, I cut my two shelf boards. After that was done, I needed to start cutting my angle cuts for my A-frame legs. I cut them at five degrees off square, and then I made sure to measure the ends, the long ends, to make sure they were the correct length. In the description below, I will have a link to the post where you can get the free plans and a picture tutorial. Once I finished the angled cuts for the A-frame sides, I cut the top support boards. I decided to drill my two and a half inch pocket holes into the bottoms and the top of my rails for the side pieces. I clamped them down and used a spacer to make sure they were correct length, then drilled them in. Once I had all the pocket holes drilled in the rails, I moved on to drilling the rest with my Craig jig. Building the top support frame was pretty quick and easy. I used three quarter inch pocket holes and attached with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. I ended up building my frame a little differently than I wrote it up in the plans just because I thought it would be easier um, to do it a different way. And so since I build it first to make it easier on you, then I can change the plans to make it better. So if you see the plans, the frame is a little bit different than how I do it in this video. Once that was finished, I measured and marked the legs so I could attach my rails. For the top rail, I just drilled in. And then I had a pre-built one, and instead of remeasuring, I just used it as a guide to clamp and screw in the rest of my pocket hole screws. You'll see that um, this first side is pretty quick and easy. Now once I flip it over and add the other leg board after this top one, that one's easy. This is where I realized, oh man, this is not as easy. I ended up using my right angle drill to start the screws in as far as I could go and then got a longer drill bit to go in the rest of the way. Because it was such a tight fit, I decided in the plans to write it up to drill the pocket holes onto the fatter side of the two by three. And so you will have to fill those in later. Once I had all my sides built, I came in the house because it was cold outside and I added the shelf supports to one of the sides. I clamped the other side on and made sure it was level and then I added my two and a half inch pocket hole screws to attach it. You'll notice I have to get fancy with my drill, turn it all different angles so I can make sure the head of the bit is in the screw properly so I can have a nice tight fit. I also clamped at the top to make sure those boards were attached in the correct place and then screwed in my pocket hole screws. I attached my back support to the last side piece with my right angle clamp and I drilled in the screws there. After that, I was ready to attach them together, all the sides. For this, I ended up just holding it in place because I didn't really have a way to clamp it. It seemed to work pretty good just because I had good leverage on it. After I finished that, I was ready to attach my top support board. I used a combination square to make sure that it was centered over all the sides. I countersunk my screws and put three into each leg. It's important to get them countersunk so that they aren't above the surface of the wood for attaching your desktop later on. Here it is all ready to stain and there it is all stained. Woo, that was fast. <laughs> I wish. I decided to stain first and then I attached my desk base to my top. Again, using my combination square to make sure everything was where it needed to be before I added my screws. I ended up using Craig pocket hole screws, uh, one and a quarter inch ones, because they're super fast and easy and I don't have to pre-drill. Call me lazy, but they work awesome. Attaching my shelf boards, I ended up clamping them upside down. And because I forgot to drill my pocket hole screws into my shelf supports, I pre-drilled at an angle and attached them with screws that way. 
in the plans I have you drilling pocket hole screws, it's much easier, trust me. And that's it, all finished. I'm loving it. It's so beautiful and it's perfect for my needs. I also made it so you can sit two people at your desk at once, which is great. Please like and subscribe. We would love to have you following along each week for more great DIY projects.